Hey guys, today I have a Maytag washer with a Whirlpool electric dryer. Both these machines are actually made by Whirlpool. Maytag is now owned um, by Whirlpool and this Amana brand is also Whirlpool. So you would think of these as brands or surnames of Whirlpool. However, anyway, um, I've got this washer right now, pretty heavy towels load. It's getting started sensing the load. We've got the deep fill option turned on. We're doing a rapid wash. It's estimating about 45 minutes. Um, let's see. I don't need the Oxy on. I've got everything set. Let's do warm. Soil level. That's going to stay there, I guess. Um, and then spin speed is set to its fastest level. Now, if I turn deep fill off, I'd have the option of low, medium, high for its auto sensing. So we've kind of gone back to being able to control how much water we're using in these machines, which is great. If you want to pause here, you can look and see what other options you have on the cycles. Um, but anyway, this is getting going. It's getting filled up with water. And with this glass top, I'll be able to show you that it's just about full submersion on the clothes. And then... Uh, over here on the dryer, let's just show you that real quick. Go ahead and hit start on that. We'll let that warm up for a second. So I go through and test everything out on these, make sure everything's working perfect on them before I list them up for sale. Then when I'm all done, I do this video so you can see, as if you were standing here yourself checking it out, that everything works perfect. So when I spend my money, that's what I like to look for, that's what I like to know. So I've incorporated that into how I sell my items. And so on this dryer, got a heat temperature gun so this is going to tell me the temperature whatever I shine those two little dots on it's about 72 73 degrees on top of the dryer concrete floors 60 degrees so we'll go ahead and open this you see it's tumbling it's nice and hot in here so right inside the heating element tube where the heat kicks out nice and hot there I'll take a picture of that for the end now the inside of your dryer is going to heat up anywhere from about 95 up to 195 just depending on what you have your heat setting at as so the air comes in here rolls around with your clothes and exits there which is why it's super important to change out your lint trap before each load make sure that's clear so you've got good strong airflow through there and you can hear the air kicking out the back now that would be almost silent once you have your vent hose hooked up on the back it muffles that blower sound here we've got it just set time dry high heat You've got a air dry, no heat, super delicate um, cycle here. Automatic dry on low heat, and then automatic dry on high heat. So this would be like jeans, towels, that kind of thing. You can set it to more dry or 60 minutes here. And making sure that your airflow is uh, not restricted in any way. So that uh, vent hose, when you put it on the back, just make sure it's nice and clear and has a good strong blowing force outside of your house. Then uh, you'll be most efficient as you use these this wash machine once it's all done here and spins out spins super fast gets those clothes really light and which uh, speeds up your drying time it's really nice part of the AG designation so I'm gonna let that go ahead and fill up with water and we will come back all right so the agitator kicked in early before the water was all the way up and it's been adding water pretty much this whole time as it goes along but we're at full submersion you can see the agitator doing an excellent job vortexing those clothes. What I like about this agitator is it's got the fins on the side, the fins on the bottom, and you've got the huge capacity on it as well. So really, every aspect of being able to get the clothes clean, this washer is going to do that job. Um, so I really like it. The one I have at home, four kids, is very similar, um, and I like really like that you can control the water usage now as well and as you can see full submersion on that and it's getting moving right along so i'm going to show you that the drain works it fills back up with water has a nice fast smooth final spin cycle all things you'd want to know here okay drains kicked in made it through the first wash cycle you're draining that water out nice and fast Okay, we're getting started on the final spin cycle. Let's get it up to speed. Kicking that drain on and off as it extracts water. And it gets going faster and faster, the lighter and lighter the clothes get. Which 
you'll be able to see here in just a sec as it gets going really fast. So while we're waiting on it to speed up, a couple of notes. When you get these put in place and you go to hooking them up, the most important thing with the washer is making sure it's level front to back, side to side especially for your water coming in, your water levels, and for how fast this spins out, has to be level. It's a good tip there for you. And I believe it gets up to its fastest peak at of like the three or four minute mark. So I might just pause and come back here in a couple minutes as it gets started, getting faster and faster. Right, it is getting up to its peak speed right now. Just kick the drain back on again. See, it's spinning super fast. What's most important though, as you can see, nice, balanced, smooth operation. That's why it's imperative that you have to have the feet pulled out correctly. Now, not all things, also not all things have to be spun out at this max extract either. Like your bedding, um, if you had a really heavy jeans and towel load, you wouldn't want to go full blast on those. They don't need to go full blast since they're so heavy. But your lighter items, um, you know, just a regular load of laundry, shirts, um, pants and stuff like that especially athletic wear you can let that stuff rip and it comes out super light which helps with that drying time but something I learned recently is especially your big bedding items you actually want that on about its lowest spin speed so I think that's it's about its fastest right there it might get a little bit faster than that, but I try to keep these videos short. We're doing a 12 minute long video showing that these uh, are in perfect working order. As long as we get through all the highlights here and make sure everything sounds good. And of course, uh, this is about the fourth load I put through this and we've got dry concrete under us here. And always double check for, make sure there's no leaks or anything like that. Of course, when you're hooking it up, you wanna make sure your hoses get tightened down. You wanna go hand tight as best you can, then grab a pair of uh, pliers, channel locks, and give it about a half or quarter turn. But that's gonna do it, guys. Now we know both of these are working perfect. Go ahead and get them listed up for sale. If you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. And I do appreciate you taking time to watch my video. Thanks, you guys have a great day.